you guys have blocked yourselves because you've got that mental slavery in your head because it's blockila. You think you need somebody to get you to the next level. You need no one. You don't need any radio station. You don't need any mentor. You need no one to believe in you. You can believe in yourself. You can start it. You can go kick some major parts. You can make yourself some money. But you got to believe in yourself. I know it's not easy. And I say this all the time. Starting is halfway being there. Because they're afraid to start. Now, let me tell you what happens. You're putting yourself in a deep end. And you got to get yourself out of it. But because you've started, you got to finish what you've started. So because you've started, you're already ahead of everybody else. So you got to start, Bantona Basikai. Whatever your dream is, start right now. We've already started with our dreams. Lloyd has started with his. Vugile has started with his. Mini has started with hers. And a whole lot of other people in this room and some of the people that you look up to and you know. That that you admire in them, you have it in you too. I'm just an ordinary kid from Eka Asichu. So if you're faced with a similar situation, you lose a job, you get retrenched, you're, a little bit, you're getting a little bit older, your friends are getting married, they're buying cars, they're buying houses, you think everybody else is progressing, and you really think it's um, difficult for you, and everybody else that you're measuring yourself by, in Dangazako, you look at everybody and it's, everybody's progressing, and you're like, what am I going to do? So... Whatever you're going to do after then, I think, you know, it shows the true you. Trust me, until you get into that position, you'll know nobody's on your side. Mdanabandu, you're on your own. I'm sorry to tell you this. No matter how many friends you can have, lose your job, go through nonsense, lose everything, or be on the verge of losing everything. Every, and I mean everything, everything. Trust me, I had a great life. Now, for all of that to just vroom, like this. And it's not because I got fired at Metro, I don't have any other means of income. But it's because when that happens, it's in the media and nobody wants to touch you. Nobody wants to be your friend. Nobody's taking your calls. Nobody visits you anymore. And everybody that you thought were your friend, even people that you called your mentors, who you thought they'd be there, they'd probably offer you this, offer you that, give you a bit of money or whatever. Trust me. <laughs> so you'll remember this day when I tell you this. The day you go through it. You are on your own, Bantana Basikai. You are on your own. For me, it taught me humility. It taught me never to trust people. It taught me that family comes first. Because once you go through nonsense, the very same family that you never had time to see because you are traveling with your sevens or in Zimali, the same family is the one that's there.